Okay, so we're looking at the homework called Identifying Angles. We're looking at number 9 first. Angle 6 and angle 8. So, I want to remind you that a linear pair does not have to always be horizontal, like this. This is an example of a linear pair, but I could just as easily take that, oh, I don't think it'll let me rotate it in Microsoft or in PDF. But I could just as easily take that and go like this, and 1 and 2 have the same relationship even though I rotated it. So 6 and 8 are not any of our new words because 6 and 8 are not reliant on a transversal. Do you see how A is not being used at all? It's not even using you. So 6 and A is an old vocab word from the angles unit, and it's not vertical angles, so our other choice is linear pair. We want to say linear pair. That is better than saying adjacent, and it's better than saying um, supplementary. So we need to call those a linear pair. They form a straight line in those two pairs. Okay, 16. We're going to look at angles 6 and 14. And one thing we want to do here is we want to be asking ourselves. We want to ask ourselves, are these angles same size or alternate? Maybe first you want, you want to identify the transversal. The transversal is the line that both angles are touching. That the line that is a part of both 6 and 14. There's only one line in the whole picture that's touching angle 6 and angle 14 that makes up angle 6 and angle 14. Okay, so are they on the same side of that line or alternate? Same side. Are they interior or exterior? And that's when you run into trouble. You're like, well, one's interior and one's exterior. That's how you know that it's the weird one. That's how you know it's corresponding angle. Corresponding means they have the same relationship. 6 is above the transversal and to the right of A. 14 is above the transversal and to the right of B. So they're above and right, above and right. They have the same relationship. They are corresponding. The weird one, I know. Poor thing, it gets a bad rap. And the transversal's name is D. Number 20. Oh, we still have to refer to the diagram above. Name two pairs of alternate interior angles for lines A, B, cut by the transversal C. So I do have an advantage here because I get to color and erase. And I know you can't do that at home. But on the test, we'll try to give you a diagram more than, we'll try to not make you use the same diagram over and over and over like this. Okay. So all it's saying is in this cluster of angles, I want you to name two alternate interior angles. It doesn't say any two from the picture. It means it has to be transversal C. So that's why we're limited to 4 and 9 and 2 and 11. Well, that's a 1. There we go, 11. Okay? The next one, um, C and D cut by transversal A. So now we've got transversal A, line C and D. We're not using D at all. We're looking at this cluster of angles. And that cluster is corresponding. Okay, so there's there's four answers to this one, but it says to only name two. You could have named one and five, four and eight, three and seven, or two and six. Let's look at the last one. The last one, you're going to see a lot like this, where it doesn't look like our normal picture of parallel lines in a transversal. So feel free to get a marker, a highlighter, or just your pencil out, and feel free to make them longer, extend those segments, and really show what the transversal is. So it says, for line AB and line BC, cut by transversal AC. So I'm going to go to AB, and I'm going to extend it. BC, I'm going to extend it, and then transversal. So now I can kind of see my lines and my transversal. Name the angle that's alternate interior to BAC. So follow the letters. BAC is this angle right here. And I want to name the one that's alternate interior. So go to the alternate side of your transversal. Go to the alternate side somewhere here. And stay interior. Alternate interior. 
Now we know which angle it is. Now we have to name it with three letters. We can call it DCA or ACD. So this one was a little bit harder just because you had to use the three letters instead of just the number.